guys and welcome to another one of my lipstick declutter videos. Today we're going to be focusing on a lot of my mid-tone nudes that are both cool toned and pinky toned. Because I had so many nude lipsticks, I really tried to divide them out by undertone so we could get a true sense of what I was working with. And what that meant is that we've looked at the very pale nudes first. I will link these videos down below. And then we've also started to move into my mid-tone nudes. In my last video, we looked at mid-tone nudes that had a warm undertone or that had a more neutral undertone. Today's video, we're gonna look at ones that are more cool toned. I don't have as many of those, so these are gonna be almost mauvish leaning or maybe slightly a gray toned leaning. And then we're gonna be looking at the behemoth of my nude lipsticks, which are ones that have more of a pinky undertone. At the end of this video, I'm actually going to be pausing on my nude lipsticks and I'm going to be going back through everything that I've kept to date with my nude lipsticks and I'm going to be re-swatching them and seeing if there's anything else that I want to pull out um, and then we'll adjust some of my declutter totals at that point. But for today's purposes, let's go ahead and start with the cool toned. This should be very easy to get through and then we'll look at the pinky toned. And let's be real guys, I've put these in sort of my cool tone section, but there's a darn good chance some of these are more pinky toned and I'm gonna need to look at them here in a minute as well as I look at the pink tone lipsticks. So let's just swatch all of these and decide how we feel about these shades and if there's any true duplicates. This is from Valor Beauty. This is a matte formula from them called Autumn Rose. And this one I can already tell you probably should be in my, my rose colored shades as opposed to cool toned, but it is slightly mauve -y, so maybe that's where I'm going with that. Part of how I've separated these out, because I have a section for mauve, I felt like some of my mauves are definitely more purple mauve leaning, and these had slightly more neutral undertones, like I wore them like a neutral lipstick. This is from NYX, this is Honeymoon in their matte lip cream, and this one you can tell is definitely more of that true grayish color there. This is Back Talk, this is a comfort matte formula for from the Vice Collection from Urban Decay. This is from AOA Studio. This is their Lip Pop. These are a dollar. This is the shade, what color is this? City Girl. I really like this formula. It's kind of a liquefied lipstick. You could almost count it as a lip vinyl. In fact, I probably could have put this in my lip vinyls in my gloss drawer. Um, we've left it here, but that one is looking a little bit more neutrally, isn't it? I may have popped that in the wrong bin as well. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is a remarkable lip color in Slow Burn. So this is kind of his liquid lipstick formula. And that one is definitely looking more pinky plummy colored than rosy. Next up, we've got some lippy sticks from ColourPop. This is the shade Boys Town. This was a shade I think Kathleen Lights did. I believe the shade is discontinued. And then this is Lumiere, which is sort of that mauve cool toned color. I love this shade. I have used the snot out of Lumiere. It's one of my favorite colors in my lipstick collection. Next up is a NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Bound. I think this is definitely my favorite color in this formula. I like the Velvet Lip Glide formula. It's definitely glossy when you first put it on and then kind of settles into a semi-matte formula the longer you wear it. And then this is the shade Pout. This is a moussey liquid lipstick from Julep um, that I they used to carry it Ulta, but I think Ulta has stopped carrying Julep, but it is still available on their website. It's a very comfortable formula, very comparable to the Bare Minerals Gen Nude line, very comparable to the um, M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Clouds. If you like that style, that's kind of what this is. All right, here's what I'm thinking at this point. Um, Autumn Rose, this matte color, I love it. I've worn it a ton. I'm gonna hang on to that. This shade though, I've just tried it on and it's just too grayish and too pale on me. It really makes me look slightly dead. It's a cool color, but I don't reach for that grayish color enough to warrant that super cool toned sort of rocker vibe. So I'm gonna pass on that. This shade from Urban Decay in Back Talk, I really do like uh, this pinky undertone. We'll see how it compares and if it gets bumped out as I go through the pinky ones, but for the time being, I wanna keep it. And then I also wanna keep this pop lip. I really enjoy this formula quite a bit. This probably should have been in a more neutral nude section, but hey, it is what it is. This shade from Marc Jacobs in Slow Burn, 
I really do love Solo Burn, but I don't necessarily feel like I love this liquid lipstick formula a ton. I'm gonna pass this on to a friend who I think would really enjoy it. And then I'm also gonna pass it on the shade Boys Town. I feel like this looks a lot, very, very similar to some of the neutral nudes I just kept, um, and I don't feel like um, I need to keep it. I am gonna hang on to Lumiere, like I mentioned. I really, really like it. It is very comparable, though, to Back Talk. Hmm. Let me swatch those two. Um, I do wanna keep Bound. I like this formula, I like this color. Um, I do think I'm gonna pass on this Julep one. I like this formula, but I also feel like I have this color. They are close, but they are different. I definitely feel like Back Talk is lighter and pinker and Lumiere is deeper and more plummy colored. So I do think I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to these. So where I'm sitting right now is I'm keeping five, getting rid of four, so that is 44%. But like I said, of the ones that I am keeping here, I definitely need to make sure that they are different enough as we go through the rest of the pinky toned ones. So let's go ahead and lay out all of those pink toned ones. All right, so now we're looking at all of the pinky toned nude lipsticks that are in my collection. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off all of the matte liquid lipsticks and we'll set those to the side. And then what I wanna do is start first with things that are more balmy so that we can kind of see how those compare uh, first. So let me pull out the more balmy styled things. This is an It's Julep, um, it's Balm Crayon in Vintage Mauve. Definitely one of my favorite colors that I have from this It's Balm line. And these are fairly pigmented, so I do really enjoy that you get a little pigmentation along with that balmy feel. This is another one of the Physicians Formula Murmur Butter lipsticks. This is in the shade Pinkini. This is more of a rosy color also a lot of pigmentation in there. You can definitely see it's less cool toned. This is one from Kaja and I really enjoy this. So this is their Heart Melter Lipstick. I have the shade, ah yes, Crazy For You. Gosh, that was really hard to see. And you would think that this heart-shaped applicator would make it absolutely impossible to use and it really doesn't. Um, it's a really comfortable balm. I wore the snot out of this this winter. I really enjoyed it. This is from Revlon, one of their HD gels in HD Dawn. And that one's a lot lighter toned. Looks dark in the container, but actually is dark and uh, lighter. Um, this is a little lipstick that I picked up in Korea. I don't think this is from a cruelty-free brand. It has this tiny little lip brush down at the end, which is super cute. I never really need the lip brush because I think this is like a balmy type formula. And I am blanking on the brand. I will put it up here on the screen. Oh, it might say on here. Yep, in Korean. And that one's definitely more pink. In fact, I probably could have put that in my pinks. You know what, guys? I'm gonna set this off to the side and we'll talk about this when we get to pinks, like true pinks, because I feel like that one is just, it, it doesn't even look nude on my arm. It really just looks pink to me. And then this is a NYX lip butter in the shade Root Beer Float which is sort of a sheer dupe for Marc Jacobs' Slow Burn. I did a dupes video on these shades. I did a dupes video on uh, some high-end lipsticks, and this is definitely very comparable to that Slow Burn shade that's down there. It's just glossier. So we definitely have a lot of similarities going here. If I'm being honest, I don't wanna pass on this first one. This, it's balm. I really enjoy it. I like the formula of it quite a bit. I like the Mirror Mirror Butter one, but I feel like it's very, very similar to the next shade up, which is the Kaja, and I actually prefer the Kaja applicator over the Physicians Formula one. So I think I'm gonna keep Kaja and pass on the Physicians Formula one. I am also gonna go ahead and pass on this HD Dawn shade from, uh, uh, Revlon, I like it, but I feel like I'm keeping other balm type things that are very comparable. I'm gonna keep this pinky tone shade. I just 
good memories, really enjoy it. I think it's really pretty. I don't know, I feel like I can pass on this NYX lip butter. I feel like I've got three balms that are all very similar, similar in undertone here as I look at them, so I don't think I need to keep a fourth. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that NYX butter gloss, even though I really do, or butter lipstick rather, even though I really do enjoy that formula. And that's part of the challenge here, guys, is I don't wanna keep something just because I like it. Most of the formulas are in here because I like them, but I want to have a smaller, more uh, condensed lipstick collection than I have right now. So I've got to be a little cutthroat even on things that I enjoy. So that is the more glossy stuff. Let's look at the lipsticks that are here next. So I've got two of these L'Oreal Infallible paints. I really do like this formula. This is Spicy Blush. I have used the heck out of these shades um, quite a bit. In fact, I would really like to see if there's something in my collection that's cruelty-free and comparable to these because I've really liked that Spicy Blush and this is Nude Star. I've really enjoyed both of these and it's really unfortunate that these sort of liquefied lipsticks in these beautiful pinky nudes are not cruelty-free. Makes me super sad, so maybe we'll come across something down here that fits those tones there. This is Marc Jacobs Slow Burn, one of my favorite lipsticks um, in general, and I definitely love this formula from him. It's sort of a demi-matte, highly saturated color. This is from Urban Decay, and I can already tell you I'm probably gonna pass this on. This is the shade Fiend. It's in their old formula, um, and I feel like it's just starting to go off a little bit. The scent is not quite right, so that's one that's probably gonna get, well, it is going to get decluttered. There's no probably about it. Next up, some Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. This is the shade Pillow Talk, one of my favorite, favorite nude lipsticks that I own, and definitely one of my favorites from her. And then this is the shade Bond Girl. This is newer to my collection. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit rosier. In fact, I probably could have put that in with rose shades as opposed to nudes, but hey, we'll keep rolling. This is a lipstick in a beautiful vintage packaging from a line that's at um, Anthropology. This is shade Rosewood. I can't for the name of this brand, it starts with an A. Um, it's a really beautiful lipstick though, and I love how vintagey and pretty this container is. I'm a sucker for this vintage metal lipstick packaging for sure. This is from Flower Beauty. This is a cream lipstick in Dusk. Some of these are starting to look very, very similar, aren't they? Now we come to some MAC lipsticks. So this is Mare. These are some of their more popular shades for sure. This is Brave. And this is a satin formula. Mare is matte, so satin is gonna have a little bit more shine, but still nicely pigmented. And then this is the shade M, so six M's. You can start to see how a lot of these are starting to look very similar to one another, but these pinky undertone nudes are just my favorite. Um, this is a Ulta lipstick, it Lux lipstick in the shade uh, Nudely Interrupt. And I liked this formula quite a bit as well. It's definitely got a nice pinky undertone to it. This is from Essence. This is the shade Cool Nude. Um, this is a really beautiful, cool toned pink. And I think they've discontinued these, unfortunately. I actually thought that color and that formula was really nice. And then this is my only NARS Audacious lipstick. This is in the shade Abilene. It's a good lipstick formula. It's not my favorite. I've talked about that on my channel, but that is a lot pinker than a lot of the things on my wrist or on my arm right now. All right, so here is what I'm going to do. So these two lip paints are rather old. As much as I love the formula and the colors, I'm gonna pass them on. The shade Spicy Blush, just so you guys are aware, is almost exactly the same shade as Pillow Talk. So part of the reason I think I love Spicy Blush so much is because it is almost a dead ringer for a Pillow Talk. It's just a glossier formula. So I feel like Pillow Talk, I can put on a gloss over top of it and achieve the shade very, very easily. And then this shade here is a little warmer and I feel like I've got this sort of warmer tone shade. In fact, I probably could have put this in my warm toned nude section. I feel like I've got this. I I'm okay passing both of these on. Marc Jacobs Slow Burn is more purpley. I definitely wanna hang on to it. I am going to get past on this Urban Decay uh, shade in Fiend. It's just super old. The smell is starting to go off on it. So these two here is Pillow Talk and Bond Girl from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I am going to hang on to both of those. And then I am going to hang on to this shade here called Rosewood. And I was thinking these were very, very similar and they are. This one is 
similar to Pillow Talk, but it's just a hair deeper and rosier, and I really, really love that undertone. And I never thought I would say this, because I love this formula and this color. I am gonna pass on Pink Dawn from Flower Beauty. I'm keeping a lot of Flower Beauty products, but these two shades um, in Rosewood and um, Pink Dusk are just super similar, and I can't justify keeping both, and so I'm gonna keep the one with the beautiful vintage packaging because I, I just, I love it. Next up is MAC and this is the shade Mare and then this shade here is the Ulta lipstick in, what is this? Ulta Luxe lipstick in Nudely Interrupt. These two are super similar. In fact, I would actually call them complete dupes. So that is Mare and then this is the Ulta Beauty in Nudely Interrupt. This is slightly glossier formula, but the color is like super freaking similar to one another. So I am actually gonna keep the Ulta one and pass the MAC lipstick on to a friend. I am gonna keep the next two MAC lipsticks though, both Brave and mm, I think are really pretty colors. Um, more pinky toned and then a little bit more cool toned here. And then I am gonna go ahead and pass on this Essence Cool Nude Shade. I've used this quite a lot. It's very comparable to Slow Burn though, and I already have Slow Burn. And then this last shade from NARS and Appaline, I, I just, I've been hanging on to it so I'd have a formula dupe or I could dupe the formula or just have one in my collection and that's just not a good enough reason to keep it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this guy on as well. All right, so now we've got the liquid lipsticks. This is new to my collection. This is part of the trio from Samantha March. This is shade Pasadena. I actually ended up decluttering a Pasadena. I actually had it in a, I think it was in my neutrals, if I remember correctly, uh, mid-tone neutrals collection. It should have been in here. I decluttered an old Pasadena. I'm going to obviously keep this one. It's new to my collection. It is one of my favorite colors. So I'm definitely hanging on to Pasadena from Ofra. I'll just tell you that right now. But let's go ahead and swatch the rest of these. Um, this is from e.l.f. This is their Sheer Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is a really interesting formula because it gives you that sort of sort of a suede look on your lips. It's it's thinner, it's sheer, um, but it gives you sort of a soft effect on your lips that I think is actually really pretty. Um, this in particular is the shade Nude Rose. This is from NYX. This is one of their liquid suede. This is in the shade Soft Spoken. Um, this is actually a nice liquid lipstick formula. I much prefer this formula to their what is it, lip lingerie formula. Nicely pigmented, easy to wear. Um, not my favorite liquid lipstick formula, but definitely not a bad formula by any stretch of the imagination. These are two ColourPop Ultra Satins. You would never know it because the lip has uh, worn off. This is the shade Alyssa that Kathleen Lights did. A little more of a cool toned color. This one is really messy. I almost feel like the stopper is broken on it. And then this is the shade November, which was another Kathleen Light shade. And this one was a little warmer. In fact, I'm wondering if it should have been, nah, it's pinky. Could have gone in my warm tone nudes. It's definitely got more of a corally type undertone. This is the Meet Matte Hughes liquid lipstick from The Balm in the shade Committed. This is a good formula. I like this one. It's just, it's kind of similar, I would say, to the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. So if you like that formula, you might really like this. This is a matte liquid lipstick from number seven. This is the shade Grace. This is a liquefied lipstick. I know they say it's a matte liquid lipstick, but to be honest, this one never fully sets down. It's a actually beautiful nude. This is one of my favorite actual nude pink liquid lipsticks. Um, really comfortable formula, never dries down, never super like, um, never doesn't suck the life out of your lips, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but it, as a result, it's not maybe the most long lasting formula either. This is a soft matte lip, cre or lip cream from NYX in the shade Cans. This is actually a really nice warmer pink shade. I like this quite a bit. This is a very old um, liquid lipstick in the shade 05. I don't even think they make the shade anymore in the Sephora cream stain. It's got a slight silver pearl micro shimmer running through it, but it never looked metallic. It's a really flattering color on my lips actually. Um, very comparable to, I think the one that's down here is that sort of light pinky color. This is more of a rose colored shade. This is the Lancome Matte Shaker in Beige Vintage. 
It's definitely more of a rosy pink. In fact, that could probably go in my rose collection. This is from Julep. This is an It's Whipped in the shade Bijou. More of a mauve whipped formula. So this is a more comfortable liquid lipstick formula, in my opinion. And then this is from NARS, a Velvet Lip Glide in Roseland. Really like this shade as well. And you can see a lot of these are looking really similar to one another. All right, so here's where we are sitting right now. Keeping this first shade, this is the Ofra Long Last Lipstick in Pasadena. Absolutely love that, definitely keeping it. And I'm gonna keep this light pinky sort of stain from e.l.f. It's just a really pretty light pink. And I think it will also help because I'm gonna be decluttering this light pink uh, Sephora Cream Lip Stain down here. This shade I'm gonna pass on. This is the NYX Liquid Suede. I feel like it's very similar to Pasadena. Dina, so I don't feel like I need to keep it. Then I'm also going to pass on this ColourPop shade from Alyssa. I feel like it's starting to change in the tube. It's very messy at this point as well. I think the stopper has popped out. I've got three shades that are very similar to one another and I wanted to keep one of them. So the three shades that are super similar to one another, this is ColourPop uh, November. Meet Matt Hughes in Committed, and then the Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX in Cans. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the Meet Matte Hughes shade from The Balm, it is cruelty free, so I'm gonna keep that shade there. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on the other two. Uh, no shock, I'm keeping the number seven matte lipstick in Cherished, or in Grace, sorry, I absolutely love this shade. This shade from Sephora, the cream lip stain, that's super old, it's time for it to go. I'm also going to pass on this rose shade from Lancome, I just don't feel like I'm I'm reaching for this color a ton. Um, so I'm gonna pass it on as well. I am also gonna go ahead and get rid of this Julep It's Whipped. It's a very nice shade, but I feel like I've got lipstick colors like this um, and I don't feel like I need to keep another liquid lipstick. I'm not reaching for liquid lipsticks a ton. I am gonna keep this NARS Velvet Lip Glide though in Roseland. I really love this formula and I love this color. All right guys, so here's what I'm getting rid of and here's what I'm keeping for the time being. I'm getting rid of 17, I've kept 15, so that is 53%. At this point, I've gone through all of my neutral lipsticks and I have kept 56 and I've gotten rid of 60, so I've gotten rid of 52%. I wanna do a pass right now and this is gonna be super haphazard. I'm gonna try and film it, but it's gonna be an explosion. It's not a lot of talking. It's going to be a lot of swatching and me trying to figure things out. So I will try and do kind of a speed through here if it makes sense. But I want to go through the 56 that I'm keeping and make sure that uh, what I'm keeping I really, really love. And if I need to adjust anything, I will come back here and tell you in just a second. All right, guys, so what you're looking at here are 14 additional lipsticks I have decided to declutter for various reasons. I found a couple of dupes that I will probably talk about in an upcoming dupes video, and I just feel like I was really harsh with a lot of my liquid lipstick formulas because I just, I'm not wearing liquid lipsticks as much, so if I'm keeping them, I really wanna make sure it's both colors that I like. So if I had a lipstick in a similar color to a liquid lipstick, I was probably keeping the lipstick formula. I still feel like I've got a good number of nude lipstick formulas, but these are an additional 14 that I'm gonna go ahead and donate, pass on to friends and family. So I've messed up my little bins with my colors pretty badly, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna uh, try and resort these out. Um, I definitely feel like I still have a lot of pinky toned lipsticks. And so when I go through both my pinks as well as my mauves, I'm gonna go back through and just double check that I haven't kept um, more pinks and nudes than I need. So this sort of uh, medium pink bin is just a little fuller than I would have liked. I mean, when I look at comparison to like my warm nudes, that feels a little bit more manageable. And then when I look at my neutrals, I don't have that many. And then when I look at my light nudes, even that one isn't too, too bad anymore. So I feel like I still could do a little bit of calling in the pink section of my nude lipsticks. But that being said, 
with removing these 14, that is dropping what I'm keeping to 42 and I'm decluttering 74. So that means I am getting rid of 64% of my nude lipsticks at this point and I'm feeling pretty good about that. Like I said, that number may drop a little bit more as we move further on into the declutter series. But that wraps us up for today, guys. If you're enjoying this declutter series, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading a lot more content like this to my channel in the near future. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye.